Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Braderman Studios. I'm here to show you the simplest form of networking that we have to offer and how easy it is to get started. So I'm going to go ahead and create a completely new project. So now that we have our project up, I'm going to go find my package file and I'm going to drag it into Assets. And I'll click Import. And now we'll have everything that is needed for uh, the networking to work. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Game Object, 3D Object, Cube, and have this cube here at 000. It's already there, awesome, so it's in front of the camera. Now I'm going to hit Add Component and type in Networked, and you'll see that there is the Networked Mono Behavior. That's what I'm going to select, and I'm going to leave all the values at default, just for this demonstration. I will save my scene, and I will name it Game. If you're following along, you should probably name it the same thing because the default menu that we have built in looks for that file, uh, though you can change it if you wish. So now that I have that done, I'm just going to go to File, Build Settings. Now before I start adding any build settings, I'm actually going to go to the Player Settings. And I'm going to turn on uh, Run and Background, which you'll find here in the Resolution and Presentation. Turn this on just so that when we switch between the two applications, the server and the client are going to continue to communicate. Now that I have that done, I'm going to go to Bearded Man Studios Inc., Networking, and then I'm going to go to Scenes, and drag in this Forge Quick Start menu. This is just a default menu. You do not have to use this menu for your game. Uh, it's just a quick start for you guys. Now I'm going to drag in the game scene that we saved into here. I'm going to go to Build and Run, make a folder, Builds, Make another folder, PC, and I'll call my game game. Now that it's built and running, uh, I'm going to make sure it's windowed and put a small resolution just so I can have them side by side. I'll press play. And uh, if you get a Windows firewall pop-up, that's because the networking system automatically looks for a firewall. Uh, and with the main scene menu, it is optional. You don't have to do it. And triggers the firewall pop-up if uh, if you want them to automatically have it, which is normally what you want. So now I'm going to go over here to the editor. I'm going to snap it over here to the left side so that I can see both. I'm going to go to the menu. I'm going to play from here. I do not want maximize on play on because I actually want to manipulate the cube inside of the editor so we can see its values being transferred. I'm going to start the server here, start the client here. We both see the cube and now I can start moving and manipulating the object and it's being sent across the network. So that is all you have to do to get networking running uh, with our system at its simplest form. I hope this helped out. Leave any questions if you have any and until next time I'll talk to you later.